honestly, the Hell Hades stages tool changed my life. In fact, pretty much everything that Hell Hades puts out, as well as Farb stuff, has been life changing for not just me, but tens of thousands of people who play Raid. The like, just the big thank you to Hell Hades and the entire team and, and Farb stuff. You guys just make this game so much easier to manage and deal with because. Uh, every moment that we spend on raid, if you're extremely addicted, like, you know, th you know that whole spiel. Um, but the value that you guys bring in terms of saving time, thank you. Now, I have always wondered the drop rates ever since the event dungeon came out for Odin, what the drop rates were. And now you can see what the drop rates for the accessories are. And they're right here on the Hell Hades gaming website. So... I put out a post asking about people's opinions on the Odin event dungeon two days ago, right? Tens of thousands of energy in the event dungeon. I asked, has anybody got anything decent, good, or godly? I'm asking the same thing to you, listening. Have you gotten anything pinpoint related, decent, good, or godly? I've gotten a few pieces of decent gear. I've got some good gear. I don't even know if I have a single godly piece. What are your thoughts so far, now that it's been out for some time? And the question that started this whole, you know, big shout out to things, uh, thanks to Hell Hades and everything, was this question right here. What stage do mythical pieces start dropping? Because I do have mythical accessories. I think I might have one mythical pinpoint gear, but can't remember which stage it came from. Who's actually going to use pinpoint? So of course, you know, if you have two accessories, you put them on your speed boosters. I already know that two accessories or alone will give you a speed and accuracy boost. I know that, but other than that, who is somebody that you are going to put pinpoint on? Like a six piece set, maybe even a four piece set or a nine piece set. Who do you plan to use pinpoint on? What year did the movie Lion King come out? That's just an obviously joke question, but you know, you know if you know, I don't want to look it up, but if you know, hey. So Duncan Dog said no normal Oh, no good normal pieces yet, but I love getting accuracy and speed from the ring and amulet. I have probably ran 10k energy on stage 30 and don't have a full godly set yet. 10k energy for a godly set? We have different definitions of godly, or you just have godly luck. I wouldn't expect a usable set from there without some luck, even after 50k energy. You're right, 50k easy required. I noticed I don't have a single accessory for some factions, let alone good. Hey, you know, don't knock him down. Let him be. Let him be happy. Or let him, let him, let him speak his truth. I've done both tournaments with 3,500 points on stage 30. Got eight somewhat okay artifacts and 90 accessories, but nothing good so far. But still, getting speed from ring and amulets are nice. Yeah, it is nice. Fit Visual was actually the one who put me on game for this, for this stage tool. He said, go to the HH stage tool. You can see what stage starts dropping mythicals. I didn't know that. So if you're wondering how to do this, where to go, just type in hell80s.com. You, let's just go right here. This is what you're gonna see. Um, you know, they're ad for Godforge, of course. Excited for that. And then you go to the Raid Shadow Legends tab right here. You come down to Raid Tools. Oh, wait, wait. And if you're wondering how to get to the... And if you're wondering how to get to the Stages tool, you just go to the Hell Hades Gaming website. You go to the Raid Shadow Legends tab. You go to Tools. Click Raid Stages tool. And then you can choose your encounter type. So let's say... You want to see what the drop rates for clan boss are. You choose the encounter. Clan boss. You check, uh, you check the stage. Let's say you're doing ultra nightmare. Boom. You can see the stats right here. Everything that you need. And then rewards. That is, you know, that's a fail on my end. But for example, dungeons. Let's say you want to see what the drop rates are uh, for fire knight. Okay. And you go to hard. And you check 10. What are the drop rates for everything? Well, we can see that the drop rates for mythicals are at 1.6%. For a 6-star mythical, 3.4% at 5-star. And 
Is it just the same all across for every dungeon? Because I thought the event dungeon had the same drop rates. At stage 30, it's also 1.6. Mythical, 6 stars. 3.4, 5-star mythical, 5.76 for a 6-star legendary. About 10%, a little over 10% for 6-star epics. I don't care about the blues. Let's check the... Let's check stage 25, right? Because one of the other questions was, hey, what stage do mythicals start dropping at? Not at 25. 26? Yes. So if you're wondering, the Odin dungeon starts dropping mythicals at stage 26 at a 0.32%. So if you can get to stage 26 and you care about mythical six star pieces, that's that's your answer right there. But for most of you guys, including myself, if you're just speed running through it, stage 20 is where you're at and the drop rates are as follow. You're gonna be getting a good amount of five and six star rares, 18.25% for five star epics, 6.75 for six star epics, six star Legos, 2.03%. And of course, you have a chance of uh, ancient uh, ancient shards as well. A lot easier to do, but um, yeah, I'm doing stage 30 just because I can, I guess. And I just have a habit of going for the highest stage that you can um, where possible. But the runs are still like, I don't know, two, three minutes long. On my other account, I just do stage 26. It's a 10 second run. And, you know, the, the drop rates for that aren't exactly high, but, you know, it's still something, but it's still 10, 13 seconds. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, there's a lot on this website that's really awesome. Again, shout out to Hell Hades and the entire team. Lord B4, he's in my clan, says, I don't know how many thousands of energy I've spent, but it's a lot. I won the tournament with 8k points, done more on top of that. I don't even have a good full set. I don't have... A crit damage percent glove with crit rate and speed substats. Way too much 5 star rare garbage. That's true. Didn't we see like over 60% on stage 20 was like 5 star crap? Rares? Me, I don't even keep 5 star shit. If, if on an epic piece, if I even see one substat that's bad, that I don't like, I sell it. I can probably replace the ring and amulet on a few champions to get the speed boost. Um, yeah, probably. And that's probably where I would give you an if and buts and betweens. I'm usually very strict with my gear, but for special limited pieces, I would probably not go so willy nilly selling everything. So I'm a little bit more lenient when it comes to the accessories, right? Luckily we get more accessories than we do artifacts. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but, you know, it's reliable. I did 200 runs on 25, got a couple of blues, that's it. Fuck that, I'm never doing it again. I feel that, bro. Why did why did I get downvoted for saying I feel this? <laughs> People, I don't, I, I don't know. It, it's weird. Uh, I haven't really got anything good. The only positive is a bit of extra speed on Arbiter. That's always good. Sometimes one speed is enough to beat somebody else. From a ring and amulet, still way too slow, apparently. Don't feel too badly anybody there's always going to be a faster arbiter warlord lady kimmy mithrala siffy not mithrala uh mikage those damn tag arena missions are so frustrating it also makes me want to quit yeah i i get it yeah i knew it was a way to just get me to buy more energy every dungeon event is bullshit pinpoint is a great set but i'm not end game so i don't care at the moment and 2004 i believe oh when lion king came out I'm not sure. 100 on the dash, get me close to God. We don't pray for love, we just pray for God.